Hey there guys, future Jason here. I know the video hasn't started yet. I'm actually editing it right now. Something I did not put in the video that is very important to me to be in there is that uh, this video, this is a review on a bleep product, the bleep eclipse, bleep halos to be very specific. Full disclosure, uh, Stuart Hetherington, he's a founder, owner, uh, inventor of this product. He is actually a Patreon supporter. You'll see that at the very end of this video. He donates uh, an amount, I think it's 20 bucks, maybe more. Uh, to me every month. Um, I've had personal contact with him. I've had dinner with him. I like him. I'll, I'll tell you all that up front. All that said, this is an unbiased review. You can listen to what I have to say, take it or leave it. It is my honest review. My reputation on YouTube as being open and honest is far too important to me. Way, way more important to me than making someone happy. So uh, I am critical of the product in some areas and not so much in others. And I am a user of this product, not every day, but very often. So with that said, enjoy the rest of the video. Hello there, Papper people, as well as Papper jerks. It is me, your favorite and thickest registered polysomnographic technologist. My name is Jason. Welcome to my channel. Now, as a sleep tech, I have reviewed a ton of different masks on this channel. There's a lot of good masks uh, anymore. They're all fairly decent, depending on what your tolerance is. This mask I really love. Now this is the Bleep Eclipse. Let's talk a little bit about the history of this mask. <laughs> Shall we, historians? How fun is this? Now's a great time to mention this channel is sponsored by CPAPsupplies.com. Let's go ahead and see if they actually have it yet. Bleep, we'll see if there's any Bleep Eclipse. I am not seeing the Eclipse. Boo! But they do have the Bleep Dream Pour. This is actually still a really good mask. And whether I've talked about it or not, there's pros and cons of each. So you have that one. Regardless though, if you want to add this thing to your cart or any mask for that, for, for any mask at all, you go in, you put a discount code, guess it, can anyone say it with me at the same time? Lefty, two, zero. And guess what happens? Uh, yeah, 20% off. So instead of paying 129 bucks, you pay 103 bucks. That's a big, juicy chunk of cash that you get to keep in your pocket. And CPAPsupplies.com is sponsoring my channel. They make a lot of these videos possible just by their generosity and me advertising them. Now, there's a lot of people I do PAP therapy analysis with through AXG Sleep Diagnostics. They have used CPAPsupplies.com. They're exceptionally happy with their level of service. So do me a solid, check out CPAPsupplies.com. This is a second generation product from Bleep. Now the reason I like Bleep is Bleep is truly a revolutionary mask. There is zero headgear utilized with this CPAP interface. I don't even want to call it a mask because it's, it's just an interface. Nothing touches your skin other than these. These are the Bleep Halos. Now the previous version of this used something else. Let's go in the Wayback Machine. I don't, I'm sorry. The pre the previous version was called the Bleep Dream Way. These are the Dream Ports. Now these fit on your nose essentially like this. So you'll have the prong coming down. This adhesive goes up and around your nose and then you take the other one and do the same thing on the other side. So you have these little prongs that come out. Then you take the Bleep Dream Way and you plug that into those, these two prongs that are coming down just like that. It essentially looks like this. Nothing goes up into your nose. They're just coming out of your nose. Adhesive is holding it on. Now, why would they come out with a second generation? Usually you're trying to solve a problem. The problem was it was very difficult to plug these in for some people. You had to have this configured just so, or you would basically rotate these in different ways. And then you'd have some kind of funky configuration. So you had to have it just right. But that wasn't really the issue. More so it was plugging them in. And then sometimes those plugs would pull out and then you'd have a little plastic ring you're trying to put back onto a thingy hanging down it was a mess potentially if you pulled them off in the middle of the night it was just a wrap you're not going to get it back on oh stewie what are you doing stewie this is not a cat channel what the bleep eclipse is doing is it is bypassing the need to plug anything in it is using that's right magnet technology look at that we just have this essentially we're gonna be putting these on our nose and then these just plug onto it, just like that. Again, nothing goes into your nose, just attaches to your nose. So what are some of the biggest complaints about CPAP masks? Finding the right fit, headgear that's hard to adjust, headgear that slides up, slides down, 
mask lines on your face, and big time is leaking. This addresses every single one of those problems. However, in doing so, it brings up a few more. One, you have no mask lines. There's, there's nothing to create a mask line on your face. There's no way this is gonna leak if you put it on right and take the time to do it right. It's adhesive, it's a big sticker that goes on your nose. There's no way for it to leak. This is the butta. So look, November 23rd to 28th, I did a little trial here. If this ain't proof in the pudding, I don't know what is. Now we're just gonna be focusing on the leak rate. Now for every one of these nights, I was using nine centimeters of water. I was using a nasal or a nasal pillow mask, but I do still have some mask leaking here going on the side over here. This is mouth leaking. I remember this, this was last night. That was not pleasant. Bunch of mouth leaking, I was waking up a lot. That sucked, I don't know why that happened. I think it's cause I was on my back. Anyway, what mask was this? Ah, N20 AirFit. So that is a silicone version of the N20. This, totally solid night, look at the leak, using the Bravita, Fisher & Paykel Bravita. Really no leak to speak of, but there is this very low level leak that was going on that I could feel a little air escaping. Not enough to keep me from going chi-chi's up and falling asleep though, I'll tell you that. On the 26th, N20 Air Touch. Now with the Air Touch, I always get a little more leaks. I think that's just because the, the, the nature of the memory foam, air is able to escape through it. So I always have a slightly higher or more elevated leak with that. But I mean, you can see AHI still really low even though I don't trust the AHI. Now on the 25th, I used again the N20 Air Touch. On the 24th, I used the N30i. N30i gave me a really good trending leak, very similar to the Bravita. Nice one. Now guess what I used on the 23rd? The Bleep Eclipse. Boom, no leak at all. The Bleep products, Bleep Eclipse or Bleep Dreamwear are the only masks I can use where I get no leak at all whatsoever if I'm also taping my mouth. Proof is in the pudding. Not the pudding, the pudding. You're not gonna have crazy hair getting pulled out or bald spots forming because of the pressure on there. And that's about it. So let's talk about some of the problems and how to solve those problems, if you can even solve them. Now this is a video I did back in August 16th when I started using for the first time the actual finished product, no longer the prototype of the Bleep Eclipse. Now, there were some comments in here. I don't remember them off the top of my head, but the comments are always where it's at. Now let's in here look for some that are more critical. Okay, a lot of positive ones, a lot of positive ones. Now, as I look in here for negative comments that I know are here, I forgot, I freaking didn't take off my shirt for this video. That always stirs up a hornet's nest. <laughs> All right, we have two here. Love your work. Thank you. For me, no chance that mask is better than those with headgear. So to that I say, why would you want a mask with headgear? It's just one more thing to go on your head. You wake up with with a mask strap head and face, that's a big no-go for a lot of people. Now we have another one here. This seems like a lot of trouble to do all the necessary steps. Just seems easier to use a nasal cushion so you're good to go. Sure, you might have your hair messed up in the morning. Hey, if that's not a problem for you, it's not a problem for you. Now, being allergic to the adhesive is another concern. Now, you can always try to see if you're actually allergic to it. I think some people are surprised that they do not have a reaction to it, but you can certainly get a sample and see if it's something that you are allergic to. Ah, good, 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 good. More concerns here. So struggling to make the connections, and this is with the Bleep Dreamway. Now this one is magnetic. So looking forward to the release of the magnetic. However, with the Philips mask recall of magnets, they're concerned about the impact of the release of the Eclipse. The Bleep Eclipse is the smallest magnetic field of all the magnetic mass. It's like two centimeters or something. It's really small. However, if you do have a pacemaker, you really do wanna be cautious of this. Right here, this is another really good comment. It seems like a lot of work to do, especially when you're tired and you just wanna fall right into bed. I struggle with that as well. There's some nights I'm just like, I just wanna to go to bed. I am tired, I've been working really late. I don't wanna spend literally like two minutes to put on the bleep eclipse because you do have to do it right. And I just wanna fall into bed. And that's why I have other masks that I use. So ultimately, not a problem, you just have another mask. And on those nights you don't feel like doing it, you don't do it. Especially if you wanna give your nose a break from the adhesive, use a different mask. You certainly don't have to use the same mask every single night. One, because there is no headgear, if the tubing is pulling on this, you do feel the weight of the tubing. 
I found it's a simple solution. I just have my CPAP machine on the ground. I pull my tubing up kind of roughly around where my knees are and I run the tube up to myself right there. Now, sometimes I have a pillow in front of me and I have this resting on top of the pillow. I find I get a better, it feels like a better delivery of air. Other people use things like a, a tube holder that holds a tube up in the air. You can put it over your headboard. Just taking the weight off of this, most people find pretty helpful. That is a very, very small problem. Big problem, big problem is, are you allergic to the adhesive? Now this is a 3M, basically 3M adhesive. Um, if you feel like you may be allergic to it, Stuart Hetherington, who is the founder and CEO and inventor of these products, he'll send you out a free sample so you can test it out for yourself. See if you are allergic to it before you put an order in. Okay, next up is the, the time that it takes to put these on, it's longer than just taking a mask and putting it on. You can take something like a P10 and just whoop, boom, and it's on. You can take something like a Bravita and just whoop, boom, it's on. With this, it's gonna take a little bit of time. How much time? That varies based on you. Now I have it down myself to roughly minute and a half, two minutes if I'm not trying to talk to a camera. Let's be real about this and see exactly how long it takes. Now you're gonna need some isopropyl alcohol as well as some scissors. At least I need scissors. And voiceover we shall do. Now this is the application of the alcohol in your nose. This is super important. If you don't do this, you're gonna have face oils all over your nose, the adhesive on the bleep, dream ports as well as the eclipse they don't like that very much um, so highly recommended to get some alcohol wipes super cheap and just really takes a second to to dry off no moisturizers no lotions nothing like that all right now in the little tiny window i'm i'm cutting off the uh eclipses the halos so the first one you don't need to like really cut anything but i did cut off the tip and i use that to shore up a spot down by kind of like the base of my nose. So I'm making sure I apply these really well because I'm gonna be doing a pressure check here soon and I don't want people to mock me. You online folk are brutal. So let's a, take a time, let's take a time to really appreciate what I've got going on here with these two camera angles. I mean, my God, this is next level uh, TV producer stuff. oozing with talent. All right, I'm cutting off the next one. The second one's always more difficult because you don't want to overlap the little metal grommets. If you overlap those, you have a leak. So you have to be kind of careful with where you actually trim it. You start to get used to it over time. I want to be honest here. I used the hell out of this mask for a really long time, uh, like in September and August. And then I only used it a couple times here in November because I kind of already formulated my opinion, but I was really lazy to get to this video. So I kind of forgot a little bit. Um, but I had the angle down pat back in the day. So you can see that gap there, at the back of my nose, it's a little gappy. That's where I always kind of suck. Check. I'm talking, uh, we're not listening. So I'm gonna have to shore it up. I'm doing this pressure check. I, I plug my nostrils and then blow out and I can feel where air is leaking. So I take that little extra piece. I can feel By warm, the way, I'm already so. done here, right? So we can stop clock, that was two minutes. I'm just trying to show you for the camera to find leaking, plug your nose holes, blow out, You'll feel them. Go ahead, Jason. I'm so going to cut these some out. Yeah, those are the pieces I'm talking about. Good job, Jason. Good job, Jocelyn. Yeah, go ahead and check again. They're in the same spot, idiot. Dummy. Come on, stupid. <laughs> I'm verbally abusing myself. This is interesting. All right, so that, I just, I have to do that every time. I don't know why I keep checking. And I think I got yeah, it good. Right there. All right, we got that one side spot. down. Nice. Let's get the other side. We'll do it over here even though it's not leaking. Oh my God, this is painful to watch. Hurry up. Horrible camera angle. All right, I got that, that now set. Now you're putting this Now on, I'm gonna show you. You want these little buttons. So what I'm saying here is those little out. buttons, so those little buttons you, you wanna have them facing away. Right I'm here. sure whatever I'm saying now is more important. By the way, Have them facing time, away, right? if not the angle's not right. Yeah, right rub here, the button more. Buttons. Want those facing rub out. the button more. So yeah, show the camera more. Jesus, put it on. Put it on. Pretty much put it near there and it's on. Now, I do want to caution you to one thing. So there is a learning curve putting these on. See these metal rings? If you get these too far away, these will pull them in and you essentially pinch the skin in between here. So you want to get adept at where you need to cut these to get these rings, these metal rings as close as possible so you don't pinch the septum right here. Otherwise you're in a great deal of, great deal of pain. So anyway, putting these on is very easy. You can do it, in, do it in the dark. You just put them close, they snap right on. 
And now I can wake up in the morning without mask lines on my face and with my hair looking bodacious like it does. Let's go ahead and do a pressure check. Oh, hi, Stewie. You're gonna go ahead and claw at me? You know this is not a cat channel. Now we have the air on right now. When I plug it in, I want you to listen to this. This is my only gripe with this mask. For some reason, for whatever reason, I feel like I can hear when I inhale more. I hear like the sound of rushing air. Um, I don't get that with other masks. The odd thing is my wife, I've asked her, do you hear anything with this mask when I'm wearing it? Do you hear it when I inhale more? And she's like, no, it sounds like the exact same as all the other masks that you try. So I don't get it. I can hear it, whatever. I don't understand it. But all I know is after about a minute of hearing myself inhale, I'm off to night night sleepy time slumberland with my boo-boos pointed to the ceiling. I'm gonna go ahead and lay it out and pretend like I'm sleeping. Keep in mind my microphone is like right next to it. Now just for some fun, let's go ahead and crank up the pressure a little bit. So definitely higher. Sounds the exact same to me as nine centimeters of water. All right, so when you're taking the bleep eclipse off, you have to go pee in the middle of the night. You can do one thing. You can do exactly what I'm doing right here, which is nothing. You just unplug the tubing. Honestly, that's probably the easiest way. The other thing you can do is just slide these babies off. So you don't want to pull because it's really not going to go anywhere. It's pretty well stuck to your nose. You take these and you want to slide them forward. So I usually grab the end of my freaking hella long nose and I, with my thumbs behind, I just kind of slide forward and that's it. These things are on. You can walk around looking like a semi pig. Um, that's pretty much it. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull these off and now we're gonna do a pressure check with a different mask. I'm gonna go ahead and do the Bravita because the Bravita was seemingly the next less leak-free mask that I tried during the last few nights. Now, you wanna see how easy these are to get off? So once you get a little bit, you can just go ahead and pull the entire thing right off. Now, I'm just gonna pressure check the Bravita so you can hear the sound of it and uh, give you something to compare it to as far as sound goes. And if I just do 16 and not nine, it'll definitely give you guys something to complain about in the comment section down below. I don't want to deprive you. So we've got it, it's going full bore. 16. Here we go, same position. I'll let you guys make the decision. You guys tell me in the comment section down below which one you thought was louder, between the Bravita and the Bleep Eclipse. I don't even know anymore. Yes, it does take longer to apply this than it does any other mask. So first you have to clean your nose with isopropyl alcohol, then you have to cut these, then you have to stick them on. It takes about two minutes. Now if I use a standard mask, guess what I find myself doing throughout the night? I wake up, pull the mask around, readjust it because I have slight leaks that I'm trying to fix. So I wake up several times and if you add up all the times I'm readjusting the mask, probably about two minutes. So I look at the time that I spend putting these on appropriately, getting them sized right, cleaning my nose. I basically look at that as I'm prepaying the frustration of adjusting a mask. That's what I'm doing. And in exchange for that, I don't have mask lines. I have a completely leak-free night. I don't have headgear I have to deal with. I find that overall it's a really, really pleasant experience if I take the time to do it right. Now, if you don't care about mask leaking, if you don't care about headgear, stuff like that, maybe the bleep eclipse isn't for you and that's okay, it's not a big deal. Not every mask is for every person. It's just that this mask is so much, so much different than every other mask out there. Sometimes you have, to, you have to explain these things a little bit so people kind of understand it. All right, have you tried the Bleep Eclipse? Let me know what you think of it down in the comment section down below. I personally am a fan of it. Yes, it does have some drawbacks. It seems slightly louder than every other mask, I guess. And if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one pap therapy analysis session with me, check out my website, axgsleepdiagnostics.com for a pap therapy analysis review using either Sleep HQ or Oscar. With that, thank you very much for watching. Have a good night, bye.
I'd like to thank all my Patreon supporters. Thank you to CPAPsupplies.com, and I appreciate you guys watching. Have a great night. Bye. Thank you to all watching, but an extra thick thanks, buddy, to Doug Toombs, Jason Georgiades, Patricia Espelong, Sarvesh Joshi, Stuart Hetherington, Mona Swearingen, Chung Chu Chen, and Edward Steiner, as well as a big thank you to all my other Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Little tiny thanks, buddy, for you guys.